Charlotte Rodrondo, you have the floor. <clears throat> thank you, uh, Honourable Speaker, and I thank the Honourable uh, Minister for that uh, uh, for that uh, for the response, uh, particularly in regards to the option on re looking at uh, uh, cloth uh, reusable uh, uh, sanitary pads. Uh, my question is then, Honourable Speaker, uh, because of the time that we're in now, uh, particularly the most the nagging priority for the people right now is food on the table. And uh, can the Minister explain how has this become a priority of, uh, of the government when schools are still closed? Can this hang on until the budgetary revision at the end of the year and use this uh, allocation to provide food for those that are really in need, Honourable Speaker. Thank you. Mr. Honourable Minister, you have the floor. Mr. Speaker, sir, I, I, I would suggest to Honourable Dandrondro to refer that uh, question to the Honourable Minister for Economy that it has to do with budgetary allocation. Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. I thank the Honourable Minister for her response to this question. My question to the uh, Minister is what is the modality used in the distribution of these uh, items? She mentioned uh, the sensitivityness of this uh, product, uh, particularly in the distribution in the rural, remote and uh, maritime uh, schools because it's mostly the men who are moving the cargo around. And we noticed that when we uh, did food distribution, if some of these items are in the packages, the men do not like to come uh, laid. So that's my question, is what is the modality used question. in the distribution? Thank you, you Honorable uh, Speaker. Honorable. Minister? Uh, Mr. Speaker, um, I think the hon Honorable Kepa missed the point. The whole idea, as I mentioned, is uh, not only about distributing the pet, it is, it's about creating more respect within both, both the sexes. And we live in a time, we live in, the, in a century where I believe Fiji has broken down a lot of taboos. And there is no harm in a man collecting a package or a boy collecting a package or a father collecting a package of sanitary pets that's going to ben benefit uh, his, his daughter. So there are a lot of awareness that will be created. And of course, I've mentioned that the distribution of pets to the 2,900 and uh, close to 2,900 plus students in the rural maritime areas will be coordinated by schools. And the schools have a child protection officer. And this initiative will start when schools do open, probably, probably after months. And uh, the technical working group which includes the Ministry of Women and the UN Women and, and other agencies are uh, trying to work uh, out the logistics around this. But given the, the issue of sensitivity, we want to break that social taboo. It's okay, it's normal for a girl to have a mens to have a menses, as we commonly say. I mean, think about the time when our days were there. When I was a girl in class eight, um, nobody talked to me about this. And I'm sure the other, other women MPs sitting in the room, we have all our experience experience to share. And we always talk about equality. So this initiative will also help us make the boy child understand why they need to respect, the, why is it happening to the girl child, it's normal. Nothing to be frustrated about, nothing to be ashamed about, nothing to be feared about. So if the men in this society have problems carrying packages for the girls in the home, then I think that's a mindset we are uh, trying to change here together with this initiative. 